What's goody? What's poppin'? YouTube is your boy, who's man? You already know what time it is. Getting into this air raid offense. Um, yeah. So this is the philosophy slash game plan video. Um, I'm gonna be talking in the back. You know, I'm gonna be talking, but I have game plan in the background, so y'all can watch my drives and see how those are going. And I'm gonna talk to you basically how I think about <clears throat> everything and how I break everything down. So if you are new, go ahead and hit this. Um, and hit the bell and then also hit the thumbs up really helps me out lets me know that y'all like this kind of stuff um so yeah let's get into it man got a lot to go over so um i'm gonna go over everybody has their their first play that they like to run first time every game first play on offense I have mine I'm showing you right now um, basically what it is that I like about it um, and I'm gonna explain y'all I'm gonna break down everything in sections of the field first and then I'm gonna break down um, what I like to do each drive and yeah <clears throat> so I break everything down um, yardage wise so we have from the goal line to the five and I'm talking about backed up on my goal line. Um, from the goal line to the five, four of my quickest plays, I usually do one running play, three passing plays. Uh, they all gotta be real quick. Reason being, you're all you're pretty much in your end zone. You don't wanna get sacked, have a safety, or you don't wanna run the ball and get stuck in the backfield. You want something real quick that can get you a couple yards just to eke you out of that goal line area. Now, once I get past the five, um, I break it down from the 5 to the 20. Once again, something quick, but it doesn't have to be as quick. I break it down into six plays, two runs, four um, passes. Once again, there are two quick runs, four um, quick passing plays. So I add another passing play in there and another running play. Um, <clears throat> same thing. You're just one you know, mistake away from having a safety or getting back to the five yard line. You just wanna kinda get out of that area, but you wanna do it in a, an effective, you know, smart way. Once you get past the 20, <clears throat> playbook is fully open. Do what you need to do. Um, and then when I get to the 20, to my opponent's 20, um, that's when I kinda like get a little bit more conservative with the uh, play calling again. Um, six of my kind of better short yardage plays. Um, me, I would say medium to short yardage plays. <clears throat> six. Then when I get from the 10, I break it down here to the 10 to end zone. Um, I will do my best goal line short yardage plays. So I will show you guys that um, those plays in, should I do it at the end of the video? And I'm gonna do it right now. I'm gonna show you all these plays right now, right here. So y'all seen that. Basically, those are the plays I use as the goal line. Um, and now I'm gonna go over, you know, kind of like my philosophy and how I think and break things down. So first drive, test drive. Um, I really like to, to call a variety of different plays and a variety of different formations. I wanna see how you react to three by one as opposed to two by two. I wanna see how you react to condensed sets um, I want to see how you react to, um, you know, five wide. I just need to see everything. I need to see how you react. I need to see the tendencies in your play calling. I need to see if you're a match guy, if you're a man guy. I need to see all that. I need to see exactly how you how you react to different situations. So sometimes, um, 
you know, if, even if I have a deep end for a 20 yard gain, but you know, I have something short underneath. I just, I do that because it's like, I wanna get as many plays in in that first drive as possible so I can really see what you do. I need to pick your mind. I need to see what you do. After that first drive, I'm just going off of, okay, cool. Well, this dude likes to do this so far. And you know, yada, yada, yada. And the first half of my playbook, it's like halfway open. It's half, we, we half throttle. You know what I'm saying? We can give, we, 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 we got the, we got the foot on the gas pedal. You know, we going, but we going, you know, the speed limit on the freeway. I don't know where you live at. It might be 65, maybe 70. We going 65 to 70. You know, we, we doing the exact speed limit. <laughs> After the first half, I assume that you're gonna make adjustments to those plays, but I understand, okay, cool. If I come out in this, he thinks I'm doing this. I see that you come out here. I'm gonna assume you've made the proper adjustments. So that's when I open, I'm full throttle. Foot is into the gas pedal. It's in the gas pedal, right? I'm, I'm, I'm every single play I got, I'm throwing it at you at this point. It's the second half. Um, and I'm going off of what you've done before, and I'm also trying to be aware that you're making adjustments. So it's like, cool, um, you know, if I've been throwing this deep post over here this whole time, and maybe you're like, cool, well, he ain't throwing no streaks up over there, and I notice you start putting cloud flats on the same side as that thing. I may run the 617 and throw the streak on you on that side of the field. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta, you gotta pay attention to what your opponent does. And you gotta assume he's real smart. You gotta think you playing, you know, the, the 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 best dudes out there. That's like, cool. You know what? He been doing this. I'm gonna make this adjustment and do this because he don't do this over here. And that's because you haven't opened a full playbook on him yet. You just did half the playbook on him. You just set them up. You, I just want to set you up. I'm, you know, I'm a, I've been doing a crossover to the left about three, four times, and now I see that you you cut it off. Now I'm about to hit the crossover back to the right. <laughs> Or I may do the, the in and out, get you leaning, and you might fall over that way. Boom, now I'm to the cup. The jelly with the jelly. So, you really gotta think about this stuff. Um, the air raid offense is just dope because I feel like it's really easy to set people up. Um, and also, another thing you need to know about the air raid offense, <sighs> you're gonna be like, bro, I know, this is the whole point of football, but score as many points as possible or as quick as possible if you're in a smashing you know smash mouth style offense that ain't the goal the goal is to look i'm gonna punch in your mouth i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna punch in your mouth i what are you gonna do about it we ain't gonna do nothing i'm gonna just keep punching in the mouth kind of like what the titans do they be like look we got derrick henry he gonna put a shoulder pad in your chest and you just want to try to stop that man ain't nothing you can do about it that's the, that's the whole point of some offense is like, look, I'm doing this one thing and you got to try to figure out a way to stop it. But the air raid is just like, look, whatever you throw out, I got something for it. You know, we like Mayweather, we in the Philly show. We like this. You throw the jab, uh. You know, you threw the hook, uh. Throw the jab, uh. Stuff like that. That's this, I feel like that's what the air raid offense is. Sometimes a good defense is a really good offense. If you know that your if your opponent knows that you can score at will, they're gonna start making mistakes on offense, which makes it easier for your defense. Kind of like how the Chiefs was playing when they was at their little peak and prime. You know, the you know these these offenses on the other side knew like, man, okay, look, if we don't score 35 points. We in trouble. But when you start thinking like that, you want to try to get it back all in one play, then you make mistakes. And now it's like, cool, well, I'm up a possession and I know I'm gonna, you know, score again. It's gonna be too hard for you to come back and make this comeback because it's like I have the confidence. I will never lose this confidence. I know I'm good, you know, I, I know I can score. Um But yeah, I mean air raid offense is really dope. Um it's one of my favorites. Um I gotta give a shout out to Coach Mackey for sure, because uh, yeah, man, he just, dude is dope. He always, you know, answers questions. So if y'all go to his channel, subscribe to him, answer. He has two channels. He has one for his real life coaching and then Madden. Ask him questions though, because 
past couple of years I've been following him. I ask questions, he answers them, and I understand it a little better. You know, I've looked into real life strategies and plays and things like that. So I kind of take the real life stuff into Madden. Um, now y'all might not want to play that. Y'all might want to do these TikTok bombs all the time. Good for you. Do that. Whatever makes you happy. But if you do want to learn the air raid and stuff, you're like, cool. I want to know football. It makes I feel like it makes Madden easier because you're like, cool. Well, you know, this is what I gotta do to stop this. It's just whether or not you know I'm good enough on the sticks to to do it. But um, yeah, man, that's gonna be the end of this video. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. If you're new, like I said, hit the subscribe button and the bell. If y'all made it to the end of the video, I want y'all to comment um, game plan. And um, yeah, man, so I'm out. God bless y'all. Um, God got y'all. And yeah, I'm gonna see y'all later. Peace.